3.5. We are talking about how to customize Workshop to make it ideal for portfolios. It's useful because students can see growth and progress, and with Workshop, when it's configured in a certain way, it allows you to develop portfolios. Portfolios are popular because they give a chance for students to showcase their work and turn in many drafts and versions that show the progress and development of the final product. And the product can be a document, a graphic, a presentation, a video, or more. Mahara is an open source ePortfolio web application. And in point of fact, Mahara is much more function rich than Moodle's workshop. Mahara allows the easy embedment of social media resources. Your Moodle administrator may have made Mahara available to you. So let's just go and check to see if our lovely site administrator, Moodle administrator, is Mahara happy. So let's go in here and look under plugins. Now scroll down and under plugins you will see portfolios. Under portfolios you'll click it and you will see manage portfolios. Let's click manage portfolios and see what comes up. And in this case, have a list. We box.net, file, download, Flickr, Google Docs, Picasa. These are all platforms we can use in developing a collaborative portfolio project. Now here's Mahara ePortfolio. And not only is it disabled, we don't, it's not installed. We can't do anything with it. Not possible, at least with the settings that I have. But we have other opportunities. So if your institution uses Google Docs, or if you'd like to, students to create image or video portfolios, you might wish to enable Flickr. You see, how you can do it is just to go here and enable and make it visible. And if you do so, then your students can create video and also portfolios of photographs and they can share them and collaborate. And the same goes with Google Docs. So they allow people to do different kinds of versions and allow different types of collaboration. A file download is just simply what it, a file download. So let's go and set up our workshop and we can do so by modifying the global appearance of all workshops. So let's go back to Site Administration, Plugins, Activity Modules, and let's go click on Workshop. Now, notice that we have the key things to customize our grading strategy. And let's make sure it's a cumulative notice. And also, mode of, of examples assessment, we want to make sure it's voluntary, even though we can change it, and they can be assessed in different ways. And also in the grading strategy, let's look at number of errors, and we don't, the word for the error would be no, and also, word for success is yes. Now, on the course level grading strategies, we need to go back to our courses. So let's go here and let's go ahead and add a workshop to and customize it in success in the workplace. So we turn editing on and let's scroll down and let's add a workshop. Here we go. Here's a workshop. And here we put the workshop name, description, and then again grading strategy. And one of the key things here is we want to be able to display the description on the course page as soon as we put it. So let's click there. And also we want to be able to put submission settings, instructions for assessment, and feedback. So essentially make sure that you customize this part. So 
Again, this is the course level customization for workshop. And you did the course level or site level customization back in inside administration. So in the next section, 3.6, we will learn how to use workshop for collaboration and group projects.